Today we turn my old jeans into art. Stick around. So I had an idea, it's idea time, idea time. Um, I'm pretty sure other people have this issue. I wear my pants, and these ones weren't that bad until, you know, I wear them until I can see my ass. And then I make the decision like, can I walk around in public with these anymore or not? And uh, since my wallet kept falling out of these, I determined I can't walk around in public with them anymore. Yeah. So. Instead of throwing them away, I was like, oh, you know how the outside is a dark blue, but the inside is a light blue. And I can take my laser and burn through layers of paint to reveal layers of paint underneath it without actually scorching the paint. It's like, can I do that? the pair of blue jeans so it's idea time I already kind of worked this out how I'm gonna do it and I already kind of cut a few pieces but we're gonna start off with a piece of fabric and a piece of scrap wood that's got stain on it yeah let's see how we do this see so yeah, this will be a pretty quick and easy video uh, first eh, it's not that dirty I'm gonna take my piece of blue jeans face it face down, and yeah, I got enough room. So, let's take that, and I'm just gonna take some wood glue uh, to put on the back side of it. And this is just some normal tight bond. Yeah, it's a little bit of a waste for wood glue, but uh, everything I have is for woodworking. edge of your desk to wipe off all the glue off your finger. Then I'm just simply going to lay it on top. Press it down a little bit. That's not all we're going to do because it kind of look like crap. And I want to be able to put it on the laser sooner than later. And I don't want to wait half the day for that to dry. So I'm going to take some CA glue. And yes, that's a stopper. Or not even a stopper. It's a little piece for the bottom of a table. But I find that sticking that in there prevents the glue from clogging up the tip, which is an always an ongoing battle. That should be enough there. And I'm just going to put a line of Now don't use your fingers to spread this glue. You will have a very bad day. And Hold that for a second, let it kind of soak in. Spray some activator on it. So this way you'll have an actual decent edge on the back side. We're just gonna go around and do that in all the corners.
now. That's all kind of cleaned up. Got a nice little border happening around it. And we have a blue jean canvas made. So yeah. Let's stick this in the laser. time didn't work right so here it is and as you can see uh, you can't tell what it's supposed to be I was supposed to be an image of my dog but I think I put too much detail in so I got up doing another one right now I made another one uh, but to kind of salvage this maybe I know I stopped it and you can kind of see that difference but I think there's too much detail in that photo for just the blue jeans to be able to do it. So, I'm gonna whip some spray paint on it and see what happens then. So the laser's all done, doing what the laser's got to do, and we got our results. So first, we got uh, Norma Jean on jeans. Marilyn Monroe uh, turned out pretty good. I like the results. Had to go over it twice. I have a feeling that the first time I went over it, it just kind of burned all the surface on top, all the little fuzzies. And the second time, it actually got that gradient color going with it. And then the other one I painted, and uh, it's a giraffe. And that has promise as well. So take what you will of that. I'll put some photos of those two in here as well, hopefully. And yeah, I think it's kind of interesting. It's a neat little approach. And if you learned anything from this and you want to try any of this yourself, go for it. It's kind of fun. A little experimental. Uh, but yeah, I kind of like the results. I like I like the way this one turned out, and I might try this some more. So there you have it. Jeans. You can laser them. Till next time, I'm Ryan Duffy, and this is Whiskey Tab Woodworks.